I finally decided to get rid of all the big leaf hydrangea bushes in my garden. I fell in love with hydrangea macrophylla a long time ago, and for many years I tried to bring this beautiful plant into its full blooming stage with little or no effect. If you like me, and you live in a continental climate within USDA zones 5 or cooler, have you ever noticed why there are so many cultivars sold in local garden centers, big box stores in the spring and during the whole gardening season, but you barely see them growing and thriving outside of people's homes? When I'm delivering flowers and driving around the city's fancy neighborhoods, my professional curiosity always gets the best of me. Why can I only see smooth or panicle types of hydrangea growing and blooming around these homes? I always wonder, why do landscape businesses prefer to plant for their customers only panicle or smooth hardy hydrangeas instead of the oh-so-popular beautiful varieties of big leaf hydrangea macrophylla sold in garden centers and big box stores? All over the greater Toronto area, I can only see panicle and smooth hydrangea blooming in front of fancy corporate buildings, condos, city parks, and houses. The question is where are all of these pots of big leaf hydrangea that are sold every year go? The grower's label states that big leaf hydrangea should be hardy for climate zone 4 and up. So why do I not see any of these flowering hardy perennials in areas where they're sold in such great numbers? Maybe I'm not the only loser who can't take care of this plant. So is it just not blooming? It seems like everybody has the same problem. So I started searching and I found a number of reasons why big leaf hydrangeas don't bloom in our climate zones. And one of the reasons could be due to a lot of unnecessary pruning being done to the bush. But I should tell you that I never prune my hydrangea because I know that flowering buds forming on the current year's stems are blooming in the next year for most of the varieties of hydrangea macrophylla. So previous year branches with formed flowering buds from last year are really important for successful current year blooming. And that is why I cut off only dead branches in the early spring. Another reason is that it also said that hardy for zone 4 or 5 hydrangeas need a winter cover in zones 4 or 5. That is not clear to me at all. I wonder why growers and sellers fail to make a warning label on the plant stating that it will not bloom unless you provide additional good winter protection. And then I started trying almost everything for my hydrangea winter cover from straw, peat moss, chicken wire cage filled with fallen leaves, burlap. I even took a plastic garbage can, turned it upside down, and I covered the hydrangea, and I kept it on for the duration of the whole winter until April. I even tried an old rug as a winter cover. Although all of these methods are time-consuming and visually unattractive landscape options, but I was so desperate trying to make that big leaf hydrangea bloom. I became really happy if I could manage to save just one flowering bud and I grew a few small, loose, weak, pale pink flower heads. I was trying to reassure myself, well, it's okay, my hydrangea is just a young bush and it needs more time to mature, but year after year after year and after most winters in our zone 5, the hardy hydrangea bush successfully survived our harsh Canadian winter and started growing beautiful, healthy foliage. Then, for the purposes of minimizing risk of loss of significant numbers of flower buds or just possible death, I put them back in the ground and I planted them in sheltered areas. I tried full sun, partial shade, everything, and nothing was working. Then I found and bought endless summer variety. That one that should produce flowers on current year stems. And I thought to myself, yes, finally, I found one. The one I was looking for the whole time. My dream variety. Now I know what I was doing wrong. But unfortunately, I realize it's just another seller's trick for someone like me to buy and plant another useless hydrangea in my garden. It was nothing but a big disappointment. This endless summer variety, it gave me bloom only once. And when it was purchased from the greenhouse and after that I never managed to see a full lush flower blooming stage again. 
Then I realized that hydrangea macrophylla is not hardy zone 5 at all. In spite of all my efforts, the flowering buds always freeze out during the winter. Or maybe these flowering buds didn't develop during the previous year at all. Both of these statements are a possibility. But let's use some logic here. Hydrangea macrophylla is native to East Asia. It is reported from seaside habitats as well as mountains in Japan. It needs really soft, warm, humid coastal climates. And that's why we see it successfully growing across the Pacific coast from California to British Columbia. Then I came to the realization that regardless of protective measures taken, big leaf hydrangea simply will not bloom or will bloom poorly because of a variety of winter occurrences beyond the control of our gardeners, like low temperatures, sudden wide temperature or humidity fluctuations, icy conditions, or late spring frosts. When you try to grow plants native to temperate climates in continental climate regions, like hydrangea macrophylla, it will survive, but it will fail to bloom. Imagine trying to grow tropical rainforest plants in the desert. It just does not work. So here I am crying out loud. I take my shovel and I pull out all my big leaf hydrangea varieties and out to the garbage. No more hard work, no more worries. I will plant beautiful Annabelle, Limelight, Pinky Winky, or Silver Dollar instead. No more space in my garden will be wasted for luxury foliage of big leaf hydrangea varieties. I will never be tempted with amazing colors and flowers of hydrangea macrophylla when I see them in big box stores or garden centers. I may buy them for holiday occasions, but only as a short-lived houseplant.